Hi, this is Sahana. I'm here with one more session on ASP.NET Core Identity. In our last session, we just had a glimpse of ASP.NET Core Identity. In this session, we are going to understand it in more detail. We are going to create a project with individual user accounts authentication and we are going to understand identity. I'm using Visual Studio. Choose Create New Project. Then choose ASP.NET Core Web App. Here I'm choosing ASP.NET Core Web App Model View Controller. I'm using MVC application. Click on Next. Give some name and click on Next. I'm choosing Framework Version.NET 7. Next we have Authentication Type drop-down. Here we have different options. Individual Accounts, Microsoft Identity Platform, Windows or None. I will choose Individual Accounts. If you if you choose individual accounts, then it will configure Microsoft Identity Framework to your application. Click on Create. Now, I will run this application. You can find the difference. Look at the navigation bar. We have register, we have register and login options. This is because we have chosen authentication type as individual accounts. If we had chosen it as none, we wouldn't have had these options. With this, we can easily register new user. You can click on login if you have already registered user. You have so many different options to manage user. Here you have forgot password, then register as new user, recent email confirmation. There are so many things available. All these features are available to this application just because of the identity framework. Let's try to register new user. I will click on register. I get this form here I'll add this email ID then I'll set password and I'll confirm password and I will click on register application is not able to register new user we are getting error a database operation failed and it is giving suggestion applying existing migrations may resolve this issue. This is because almost all the necessary things are set up when we have created this project. But there are few important things that are missing that we have to take care of. First very important thing to know is identity is configured using SQL Server as database to store usernames, passwords and profile data. Look at this project structure. If you expand dependencies, inside packages we have different packages already installed look at these packages we already have packages to work with entity framework core with sql server entity framework core sql server and microsoft entity framework core tools these are the two packages that we need to work with entity framework core when we have entity framework core with sql server we also have microsoft.asp.netcore.identity.ui. If you want to know how to set up Entity Framework Core, then you can visit ASP.NET Core playlist in my channel. You will get all the videos. We have almost all the necessary setup to work with Entity Framework Core with SQL Server. We have all the packages installed. Next, if you look at this data folder, we have application db context class this is the class that we are going to use to talk to database then we have migrations ready if you open app settings.json file already connection string is defined this is the connection string knows connection string specifies the database which we are going to connect next open program.cs file see look at this statement builder.services.addb context already services registered with dependency injection container most of the things are already set up the only one step that we have to do to set up our application and to fix this error is to run update database command go to tools go to NuGet package manager click on package manager console now we have to execute command update database. This will create database with all the necessary tables to work with identity. Hit enter. This command has created all the necessary tables. You can open SQL Server from Visual Studio. Go to view. 
search for SQL Server Object Explorer. Now click on MS SQL Local DB. Click on Databases. This is the table that has been created. Uh, table has same name as project prefixed with ASP.NET. If you expand tables, you can find update database command has created all the necessary tables. These tables are going to help us in create in creating users to store user information, user login details, user role details, and all other information. Second important thing is generated code provides ASP.NET code identity as Razor class library. That is the reason we won't be able to see view files for these functionalities. Even if you expand views folder, you just have index and uh, privacy views. Even inside shared folder, you can't find views that are representing register and login and other functionalities. Even inside areas folder, you just have view start file. In some other session, I'll show you how to view all those files. For now, let's understand the important steps that are involved in configuring identity. Next important thing is identity services are configured in program.cs file. I will open program.cs file. Inside this file, here we are adding identity services using a default identity and we are registering identity user class and uh, we have mentioned all the other settings. In this program.cs file, identity services are registered. Um, these things are already available in this application because we have created this application using individual user accounts authentication. If you already have some application and you want to configure identity, then you will have to register your identity service here. With dependency injection, services are made available to the application. In program.cs file, we are registering identity service with dependency injection container. Next important thing is identity is enabled by calling use authentication method. This adds authentication middleware to the application. After use routing method in this program.cs file, before use authorization, we are going to call use authentication. This method adds authentication middleware and all the things are set now. Now let's try to register new user. Click on register, click on register. I'll close this one. Click on click here to confirm your account. See. Now we have a message. Thank you for confirming your email. Now I'll try to log in with register ID. Click on login. Enter your password. Click on login. See. Now we see. Now this user has logged in. You can click on log out. See. The user has logged out. Again, we have this register and login options. This session was just about introducing you to ASP.NET Core Identity. But there is a lot more to learn. That's it for today's session. See you soon in the next video. Thank you. Mm -hmm.